Welcome to the Sierra and Roman cooking show. And today we're making pretzels, pizza pretzels, and cinnamon sugar pretzels. So, we, so as you can see, we already have in the ingredients. So first, you put this in. Okay, so this is some yeast. So you only need one packet of yeast. Okay, we want to do that. And then two and a half cups of warm water. And then one tablespoon of sugar. And then you're gonna mix it all up and let it sit on the side for four minutes mm -hmm. until it gets bubbly and that's how we know that the yeast is ready. Okay, so, so the so, yeast didn't so, so get- the yeast didn't get that um, bubbly because it's only one packet and that's um, perfectly okay. So then we're going to add one, one tablespoon, teaspoon, teaspoon of salt, then two, two cups of two tablespoons two of, tablespoons melted, of butter. melted butter, and then, then, then two four. cups of flour, you need four. no, two cups of flour first, then you yeah, stir it. Sorry, you stir it in between and then you add the other two cups and then you're going to attach it to your stand mixer and if you don't let the stand, stand mixer, mixer do the rest of the work. You can maybe, mm, you can, you, you, hmm. if you don't have a stand mixer, you can always use um, like a regular mixer if you want. And then we're going to add the other two cups of flour and then put it on the stand mixer. Okay, so now we're going to add the other two cups of flour. And then Roman is going to put it in the, on the stand mixer and blend it. Well, mix it. And then if your dough is a bit sticky, you can add some more flour to it. And then afterwards... And so the flour will um, unstick the dough. Yes. And then afterwards, we're going to knead the dough on a floured surface. So it's okay if your dough is sticky. Then... So, so, so then um, you can um, get a spoon or a spatula if, to get the dough off of of your own stuff so um you could add some and you can also make um less dough on it by just scraping it on the sides you could add some more flour to the dough to if get it to be less too. sticky okay so we added a quarter cup of flour to get our dough to be not sticky and then we blend we mix it in the stand mixer for about 30 seconds or one minute. So now we did a lightly floured surface and now we're going to knead our dough. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put some oil, not too much, just a light coat of oil back into our stand mixer. And then after we're finished kneading our dough, we're going to put our dough in the bowl. And then we're gonna let it sit in a warm place. You can put like a little light towel over it or if you have some plastic or a cling wrap, you can put that over the bowl and let it sit in a warm place for 40 minutes so it can double in size.
Okay, so now I'm going to prepare my baking soda bath for my pretzels. So it's two third cup of baking soda. And what this bath does is it prevents the pretzels from, you know, becoming like bread because it has all the ingredients like bread, especially with the yeast. So this helps it to keep its pretzel shape and give it, it pretzel, its pretzel flavor. So then you just add the two third cups of baking soda to 10 cups of water. It's 10 cups of water in this pot. And what you're gonna do is stir it until all the baking soda is dissolved. And then you could put this on a high heat and you will want it to reach to, um, you want it to boil and bubble, reach to a rolling boil. And then you're gonna add your pretzels after you're finished shaping them. You're gonna add your pretzels one by one for 30 seconds and then onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and then they're gonna go into the oven. So the dough has doubled in size. As you can see, you from from how you last saw it, the dough the, the dough has gone bigger. So now me and Sierra are gonna shape the pretzels. Okay, so we let this dough sit for 40 minutes. And then now we're gonna shape the pretzels. So the yeast, before the yeast didn't get as bubbly as it normally would because it was only one package of yeast. But because the dough doubled in size, we can see that it doubled. That's how we know that, you know, it worked. Can I do it? Yeah. So we're gonna break it off into eight okay. pieces. Make sure you wipe off your surface. Yes, because we have wiped off our surface off camera and I've set the oven to 450 degrees and these pretzels are going to go in for 12 minutes and it's very important that you take them exactly out of the oven at 12 minutes because you don't want them to burn. So let's get started with our pretzels. We're going to roll it. I'm getting it. Okay, so okay. you could start from the middle oh, and then right. go out to the sides. Okay, let me help you with your room. <laughs> so you could start from the middle and then take it out to the sides. No, start from the middle and then take it out to the sides. Good. And then so you want to make, you know, a U-shape. U-shape. And then twist it like that. Like that. <laughs> and then twist it again. <laughs> and then bring it in like that. And then so now you have your pretzel. I'm going to help Roman with this one. But you got it. <laughs> Hey, okay. This is his first time okay, shaping a pretzel. No, continue with this one. Okay. 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 On now do the U. Okay. You, you want to twist it right here to give yourself enough space to twist it again. So twist, twist it. it right there. No, like okay. twist it right here. Just oh. like that. So you could do it. Okay. A little lower. Okay. Okay. Like that. Now twist it again. <laughs> and then bring it in. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to add the pretzels to the baking soda bath. So you can just drop them in. You can do two at a time, depending on the size of your pot. Then you're going to start your timer for 30 seconds. And then you're going to just like leave them in there. And then once they're done, you're going to get... You know, you can get a spatula, you're going to take them out and rest them on your baking pan lined with parchment paper. And then they're going to go in the oven for 450 degrees at 12 minutes. And then after 12 minutes, you want to take them out because you don't want them to get too brown or you don't want them to get burnt. Okay. Okay, so our pizza pretzels just came out of... No, yeah, just so, out of the so now you we're gonna decorate our pizza pretzels. Cheese. 
You want to sprinkle it around, not just dump it everywhere, Roman. Try. Get it on there. And then we're going to add some pepperoni. And then if you have some pizza sauce or some marinara sauce, you can actually use that as a dipping, dipping sauce if you like. And then so the other four pretzels, because we made eight in total, are going to be our, our cinnamon, sugar, cinnamon sugar, sugar pretzels. pretzels. And we don't put the cinnamon sugar on until after they come out the oven. So then we're going to put some melted butter on top and then we're going to coat them in the cinnamon sugar. Okay, so you could just put the pepperonis wherever okay, you want to put them. I'm going to actually make them a face of pepperoni. Oh, you want to make a face of okay. <laughs> Yeah, so give me two more. Okay. One. Mm -hmm. And that's two more. Oh, sorry. And that's going to be its nose and down there is its mouth. I mean my masterpiece, pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a funny name? Pepperoni. So the pizza pretzels just came out of the oven. And the cinnamon sugar pretzels. So, so I spread the cheese all around it. In between, you can't see the holes as much as you can see here. When Roman was making the pizza pretzels, he put cheese in the middle of the hole. So, so when the cheese melted, you can't, it kind of covered the hole so you can't see through it. So now we're going to work on our cinnamon sugar pretzels. So to make cinnamon sugar, you can use a quarter cup of white sugar and one tablespoon of cinnamon. I recommend putting it in a jar then you because then you could just you could just shake it up. Because then if you because then if because then if you only have a short short amount and you still have some left, left you can you, just cover up the jar. You, you just cover up the jar, put, put it in, the, in the, fridge. the fridge. Then when you make more, or you can put it in one of these if you have any um, old like seasoning um containers or anything like that oh you can just put it in this and then you can also put it in the refrigerator okay so this is a tablespoon of melted butter so let me do the first one and i'll let you do the next okay. so then you could just brush it just brush it on the pretzel and then you'll just sprinkle the sugar on it. So Roman's going to do the next one. You don't want to put too much butter on okay. it. You have to brush all around or else the cinnamon sugar isn't going to stick. So you want to brush everywhere. Okay, let me do Hold on, you miss a side. Okay, it's really important to get Oopsies. all. You don't want it to Wait, put too much butter in it or else that's going to cause the sugar to dissolve and then it's going to get wet and really sticky. Well, don't we want it to be sticky so we can stack? I mean, yeah, but you don't want the sugar to get wet. Mm -hmm. Or else it's going to kind of like melt. And then we're going to add the cinnamon sugar on. Okay, finish. So this is some leftover cinnamon some? sugar from when we practiced it. A while ago so no you could just use a spoon okay. let me do it let me do it. and then you just sprinkle it on and see how it sticks okay so you could do the rest Oops. I was meaning you could have finished <laughs> that one so this is my favorite part tasting it you want to try this one no <laughs> Do they taste good? Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna try the pizza pretzel. I'm gonna put it in some of the pizza sauce. Tastes really good.